Hi guys, uh, Mark Smith here. Um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to go through um, a relatively new instrument uh, by Native Instruments, and it's called Mysteria. Uh, it's um, if you're familiar with um, their instrument Thrill, um, this one here. It's pretty much it's got the same sort of feel of of Thrill, uh, same uh, general. Um, controllers uh, and uh, features um, but this is this sort of uh, it concentrates on a choir so we've got we, we have uh, mixed ma uh, mixed female male large large choir chamber choir quartet um, and it's uh, it's a mixture of uh, aleoric um, dissonant sort of sounds uh, there's choral stuff in there as well um, uh, I'll, something I'll be going through in a, in a second video is that you can actually build up uh, chords but I've got to get into that uh, first before I, I present that but you can actually uh, you can uh, single out notes I think if I, I believe that's correct and you can sort of make it a little bit more tonal and it'll fit your particular key the key of your track um, what I've done here I mean uh, bear with me it's just it's quite a simple track um it's just sort of it's many ambience for now but the idea is to sort of build it up to a uh, a bigger um it's, it's going to be sort of a horror genre type of a, a style um this instrument is very good for it's very good in the film industry and in the gaming industry it's good it's good for cues uh for particular sort of tense um ambient uh cues um it's quite it gets quite intense actually in, in, places but um i'll just play through this uh this short track and then i'll go through it with you um uh, bear with me, like i said bear with me it is quite simple at the moment we just sort of build it up from, um and getting some ideas in there but have a listen and see what you think There we are. Um, uh, like I said, it's quite simple, but it's sort of uh, it, so just to give you an idea of what this uh, this beast can do. It's uh, it's quite it's quite a nice little uh, VST. Um, if I solo solo this uh, this track here, um, now I'm using a, a pad called A Dream. Now, as you play this. You can sort of see. Um, hopefully, this will work because uh, let's have a play through. You can see where it sort of changes, um, and I've uh, I've uh, basically automated this uh, on latch there, and you can see it moving and gradually opens up. So as as we go higher, as it gets higher. You get a little bit more intensity. And 
that's just the one pad um a dream um let's just test this one out for you um mysteria awakening this is there's a little bit more this is this quite sort of intense um let's move it a bit further forward there we go there. There we go. And now it opens up. It's quite creepy. You can sort of see what's happening up there. It's sort of uh, as we're moving this this around, we're sort of getting some nice um, movement with the with the sound. Um, this is quite a nice little. Um, I mean, there, there are quite a few of these uh, where you can sort of you have uh, words, uh, lyrics. So we've got all kinds of things here. I mean, this is uh, Latin whisper. Uh, we've got Latin chants. Uh, Grieving men, all kinds of, all kinds of juicy little um, bits and pieces. Um, so I'm that we got that. So if I, I'm playing that whispers down there, and then we get higher, and it gets a little bit more intense. Um, and this is the same sort of thing. You can sort of see it there. See it moving. We used to moving there, but it's not playing. If we go. Um, This is quite, I mean, it's really quite cool for for film cues, for horror film cues, definitely. Freaky. There you go. So you've got that movement there. Um, and as you can see, I mean, this is uh, it's quite similar. This is this is thrill here. So thrill. I've got that. This is more orchestral. So we've got we're coming from low. I mean, for a, for a, particularly for a for a film uh, cue, that would be quite a building cue to a jump scare or whatever. That's quite cool. Um, but okay, moving back to to Mysteria, um, I'm just going to have a look at this. I'll just create another instance. Um, get rid of that. If I go in, also we've got we have got some. Uh, th th there are effect. You can sort of affect the each uh, each pad. It works on on. Some pads are better than others. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's go. Uh, deep growl. Well, you've got. You can sort of work work with the uh, the mix there. I'll I'll go into this a bit more in the second video. I think have a really good look around it. Have a play with it. Um, the FX. Uh, like I said, sometimes it seems to. You can hear pulse. You hear that? So that's quite cool. So it, it it's it's sort of affected by the way you move this uh, move this pointer along the axis, so you get different sort of sounds. Um, I haven't tried this mutate. The different axis with each axis axis you can sort of give it as much as you want. Hmm. That's done. I don't know what that's really done to be fair, but um 
But it is just playing around, I think, really. Um, I've got a phaser. Ooh. Can you hear that? That's quite good. Oh yeah, I can hear that. And that's the, yeah, you've got some a control there, you can get a bit, a bit more of the actual effect. So so you can see that there's a lot of, um, there are a lot of options there, and you've got sort of, we've got all kinds of uh, sounds in there uh, that you can play around with. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to further this track a little bit more for another video um, and maybe add some something else during the video but uh, that was just a little taster just to show you exactly what this uh, instrument can do which is a uh, it's quite a lovely little sound um, I mean like I said particularly for, for film music and film cues it's got some lovely sounds um, and I'll be back uh, as soon as possible with a, a new video um, to open up this track a bit more and add a little bit more uh, to it. I might even actually use a bit, a bit more of the uh, the Thrill VST as well. That's quite cool. Um, and we'll build a, a bigger track. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, to give you a, a taste sort of Mysteria. Um, but as you can see, it's quite a cool piece of kit. Uh, thanks a lot and I'll be with you again soon. Thanks very much.